So I had physical therapy earlier, and we did abs for the first time, so I'm already feeling it. But they went ahead and okayed me. I mean, I can start doing some upper body as well. So I'm going to start this long road back into getting in shape for climbing and uh, start working the upper body. I'm not going to really be pushing it too hard. Just, uh, you know, starting out light. So I'm in my buddy Jeff's garage. Legit gym in here. Some equipment laid out right near the door. So I think it's a pretty safe assumption you'll be seeing me work on those here pretty soon. I'm going to stop it right there. Kind of discouraging how heavy that felt, but we all start somewhere. I'm actually feeling really good and kind of want to keep going, but I'm going to just end it right here. First workout back after a long time and still recovering from injury. No reason to push it. So Gibbs has still been gnawing on himself pretty hard. Yeah. So I talked to my friend Diane and she said the stuff I use isn't the best. You could be allergic to it or it could just not be working. Uh, so she's going to get me some of the stuff that she uses and give me some recommendations. So for the time being, we're all good, bud. See a couple in there. I cannot recommend the Sentry stuff because it apparently doesn't work. So we got Gibbs taken care of. I can get to work now. This is Jeff's cutoff saw. He's saying the uh, trigger is slipping, something along those lines. <laughs> Looking for something a little more chill tonight, so this is actually Modest Mouse, one of my favorite bands. Get that piece out. I wonder if that pin is just pressed in. Watch your eyes. Yep, just push pin. Pick up one of those and uh, go ahead and get a new spring and maybe even uh, no, probably won't get throttle linkage. Sure, it's fine. It's going to be plastic that wore off, not the throttle linkage. Will depend on the mob that you are looting, since each mob has a different drop chance to get easier as you go ahead and level up and level up. Number one, the Blood Sail Buccaneers. A little war. Hey, hey! Definitely straining our relationship. We've been doing this for an hour now. But we're on the last step. I was supposed to find some of the glass, I couldn't. So the plastic. You never want to show fear. They can sense it. But this thing to this year, Montour. And as beautiful parallel as possible. Alright, Gibbs. Last thing, bud. Yeah, fighting with a cat for an hour straight, that'll take it out of you. Well, they didn't have the uh, trigger in stock, so I had to order it, so I'm going to clean up this mess from the cutoff saw and uh, get to work on another project. 
So, up next on the bench is my buddy Joe's 009. He picked this up not too long ago, not to be a production saw, but uh, when he was young, the very first saw his father bought him was an 009. So he saw this, and it's in incredible shape for its age, so he picked it up. It was having erratic issues running. Maybe think it's carb related because it had been sitting, I guess, in a storage shed for some time. Got a carb kit. This has actually been sitting in the garage for like a month and a half in this same state. I'm sorry, Joe. I've been in a... I've been dragging my feet because all the fasteners are flathead and I fucking hate flathead. But every time I start a new project, I feel guilty because it's like, shit, I need to get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and get it done so I can stop feeling like an asshole. It's amazing how fast I get sidetracked. All right, now we can get to work on the saw. That gasket kind of pissed me off and got to the point where I said, you know, fuck it, I'll just get a new one. So, not going to be done with this tonight. So I'm just going to drop it in the ultrasonic and call it a night because this is going to take a while to heat up and everything. It's getting a little chilly out here. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here, so have a good one, humans. <laughs>